Aya and DICE have confirmed that Battlefield 5 will arrive this year. Knowing this, we're all speculating what the upcoming title will have in store, and if it will build on the World War I setting established by Battlefield 1. Trusted Reviews has rounded up the latest news as well as discuss what we'd love to see from Battlefield 5. Got your own wish list? Let us know on Facebook and Twitter. Electronic Arts and DICE have announced the official reveal for Battlefield 5 or whatever it's called will take place on May 23, 2018. A website has appeared with nothing on it beyond a date and the words. We imagine this is a way of teasing some big changes to the established formula. Oh, and it also contains an image of a very frightened horse, related, upcoming Xbox One games we'll be covering the reveal as it happens to be sure to keep it locked to trusted reviews for all the latest on Battlefield 5. The next entry in Electronic Arts Battlefield series will take place in World War II and be known as Battlefield V. That is, according to a new report by GamesBeat. According to anonymous sources speaking to the publication, Battlefield V was previously known as Battlefield 2 internally at the development studio. This makes sense, considering Battlefield 1 being named after its conflict. If true, this will be the first time Battlefield ventures into World War II since 2009's Battlefield 1943. can check out a leaked image below, although some elements have been obscured. Related, Overwatch latest news games beat has followed up on its previous leak with further details on Battlefield V. According to its recent report, Battlefield V's solo campaign will once again follow a variety of protagonists through bite-sized stories. The report also states that a co-op mode of sorts is in development and some changes are coming to the established movement system. One example highlighted in the report includes being able to go prone while on your back, much like in Ubisoft's Rainbow Six Siege. Battlefield 5 release date Battlefield 5 will arrive in 2018, Electronic Arts confirmed in its most recent earnings call. It was confirmed alongside a delay to Anthem which will now launch in early 2019. Aya stated the decision was made to make room for its popular shooter franchise. Aya has confirmed Battlefield 5 will be the headliner at its Aya Play event ahead of E3 2018. This will take place from June 9-11 in the Los Angeles Hollywood Palladium. A press conference will take place on June 9th which we'll be covering right here. Related, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Latest News Battlefield 5 Gameplay, How Does It Play? We won't be seeing any actual gameplay of Battlefield 5 for a few months yet, but there are a few assumptions we can safely make. Battlefield tends to focus on scale and spectacle above all else, especially when it comes to multiplayer battles. The solo campaign is normally a smaller affair, focusing on personal stories of a few select soldiers across a larger conflict. Battlefield 1 delivered in solo and multiplayer efforts, presenting a thrilling, if a bit short, episodic campaign and online carnage that continues to excite. With an arsenal of different classes and vehicles to choose from, experimentation is the name of the game when it comes to playing with friends and wreaking havoc across all game modes. We're pretty excited to see how Battlefield 5 builds on the formula we know and love. Related, upcoming PS4 games Naval Battles. Battlefield 1 was sorely missing out when it came to epic naval battles. Sure, you had a speeding train in the Arabian Desert and a historic crashing zeppelin, but none let you surprise enemies with a grenade or two from beneath the water. 
Battlefield 5 should bring this back in style, perhaps with an assortment of new vehicles capable of ruling the seas. Another episodic campaign shooter campaigns are normally a hit or miss affair, so it was a welcome surprise when Battlefield 1's effort proved to be better than anyone could have expected. It was criminally short, but sharing levels across a variety of playable soldiers and locations meant we received a detailed picture of the Great War. It wasn't a history lesson by any means, but by giving each episode an emotional context we felt invested in not only our characters, but also the things we were fighting for. Battlefield 5 would do well to learn from its predecessors. Related, Forza Horizon 4 Zombies Call of Duty has been doing zombie modes for years, with many iterations failing to leave the same impact as its iconic Nazi original. We'd like to see Battlefield give this style of horde mode a punt. DICE could always envision this spooky dilemma on a larger scale, perhaps adapting it to a conquest-sized map with dozens of players fighting off the undead menace. Battlefield 1's operations mode showed that it's perfectly possible to attach a narrative of sorts to online matchmaking, and it could work brilliantly for a historic twist on everyone's favorite flesh eaters. With more Battlefield 5 news set to emerge in the coming months, make sure you keep an eye on trusted reviews.